Good morning everybody, Colin here with Tech Out. Today I'm going to be packing up my Synology DS215J and we're going to be doing an RMA on it. It looks like the network interface card or the NIC is failing uh, slash failed. If you watch the light here, um, it will blink and then go out um, as will the corresponding light on my switch it's plugged into. Um, it's been dropping the connection um, for the past couple weeks um, to the Synology server I'll get an email saying that the connection has been lost um, I can't access it through its IP address unless I unplug it and plug it back in um, and then it'll be temporarily accessible for a little bit and then it'll stop or it'll start dropping the connection out again um, so if you watch that it will it'll continuously blink for a while go out come back on um, of course it's not doing it now it only does it every once in a while, but it just did it right before I started this video. Um, I'm not going to stand here and wait for it to do it. But it will continuously blink, and then it will go out on here. Um, it looks like it might be about to do it because it's flashing continuously again. So it will blink continuously pretty much, go solid for a second, go out, and then so will the, uh, the two lights. Um, the activity light and the gigabit light on the switch will also go out there. You go, you can see it just went out right there um, and came back on. So that's what it's doing. It's totally dropping the network connection. Um, I've tried new network cables. I've tried unplugging it from the switch, plugging it directly into the router. Uh, same effect. Um, if I plug it directly into my MacBook, I can watch it in the network preferences um, drop in and out. So definitely something wrong hardware-wise. Um, I've reinstalled everything. I've re redone everything. I've tried it without the drives. It's the same same issue no matter what. So we're going to be packing this up, taking the drives out of it, and sending it off to Synology for repairs. And I did just want to share that the device does function normally um, as far as booting up and shutting down. I can still hit the power button to shut it down and it boots up normally. All the status lights are uh, normal and everything shows normal in uh, Disk Station Manager when I can access it. Um, so it does look like it is just the network card itself and not the whole motherboard. Um, so I don't know what the issue is there, but as you can see, it just shut down normally. Um, it was able to rebuild its file system after reinstalling everything. So the the unit itself is functioning. It's just the, the network card which is built into the motherboard is failing or failed. And it's making it so it's not accessible. Um, you can really only access it if you unplug it, plug it back in do it like immediately and then after that you usually use, lose the connection anyway. So we're going to take this out of here. Um, I'm going to show you how, how to take the drives out and get ready for shipment. Um, we'll go into my office which is a little bit quieter where we don't have all these fans running. Okay so here we have our broken 215J. Um, this thing is pretty dirty. Um, they fingerprint terrible on the, the white surface. I don't know like why they turn like that black dirty color like I, I don't know it's been like that ever since I got it like that that was from setup pretty much um, a year ago but other than that haven't had any problems with it it kind of just sat there and ran um, you know on its own so it does collect quite a bit of dust um, being in the server rack it did um, you know it had air blowing through there and it had its own fan so they do collect quite a bit of dust in there um, if you ever have any fan issues, the fans are replaceable parts that they sell on their website. Um, it looks like it's just a three pin fan too, I don't know what size it is. Um, but these are my drives, so I am going to remove these before um, sending it off to Synology. Um, they do tell you what you need to include um, in the RMA email. This cheap screwdriver is like broken and the handle is spinning instead of the screw. so. That's great. Use this one. Um, so yeah, they do tell you what you need to include in the email. Um, they say if you did not order a pre-configured unit, um, like a unit with the hard drives already in there, um, if you order an empty unit, you can take your hard drives out, obviously because they're your hard drives, um, and they're not, you know, if, if they're not part of the problem, they don't need them. Sometimes if you order a pre-configured unit with the hard drives already installed, they will want them back if you have uh, if you have issues that they might be um, part of the problem. But I'm going to put that back like that. Um, it's fairly simple. You just have your, your motherboards on the bottom here under this. Um, you can remove this with the screws here. 
that comes out um, and then you just have your SATA your SATA card here which is you know got the little riser here so you can put the two drives in I didn't have my back piece this cover screwed on um, just because it wasn't moving hopefully I don't know where the screws are so hopefully they don't, they don't care too much um, but yeah so I don't have the screws for that I do have the box though so let me grab that and we'll go ahead and pack it up okay so we have our box here we're just gonna Make sure there's nothing in the box. Uh, make sure these screws aren't actually shown in the box that I was talking about. No, they're not. So we're just going to put it back in here. Put that like so. I don't think there's any padding um, around it that I remember. I'm going to, when I pack this box, I'll put it in another box with some padding. But that's packed up. And I just want to say that Synology is probably the best, um, the best support I've dealt with. Um, Called him up, explained the issue. Guy goes, yeah, sounds like the network card's failing. Um, he goes, just go ahead and go on to the site and submit a request, um, submit a support ticket. And they literally, um, I put the the purchase, the receipt in the email and the, the ticket, so they didn't have to ask for that. Um, they actually did not send me an email back asking any questions. They literally just sent me a link to send the thing back within an hour. So that was awesome. I didn't have to, there was no hassle with, hey, did you try this? Hey, did you try that? I explained the issue to them, um, and they sent me a RMA right away within an hour um, on a Friday night. So that was, that was awesome. So um, you just have to send it back. You can upload your tracking details. If you need a replacement right away, they do have an expedited one where they'll ship you one out, like UPS Next Day Air. Um, but I just did the one where you send one back and they send you another one. So, that should be good. I'll keep you updated. We'll maybe set the new one up when it gets here. But there's the two drives. Um, they were in RAID. I think they were in RAID 0. So they were um, RAID 1 or RAID 0. Whichever the um, one disk fault tolerance, you know, cloning the data to the other one. Uh, so if one fails, you don't lose your data. It was in RAID. So they're the same on both drives. So we're good there. Um, the drives are fine. It was just the Synology itself that was failing, as I said. But this has been Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below. If you have any questions, just ask them down in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.